if you're going from one building to another, you have to try to beat your kids there. Sometimes you're going with the crowd and they're going a lot slower and you're trying to get around them. Like literally this, this is what I carry. It's a laptop and a bag to all my classes. Space is at a premium for schools on Oklahoma City's south side. Dozens of teachers are without a classroom, including 16 at Capitol Hill, who have to share space with other educators. My first hour is collaboration, so I'm in my office. Second hour, I go to, I'm on the third floor, and then I go about two doors down to another class on the third floor. But then after that one, I have to go down to the second floor um, to another classroom, then I have a lunch break, and then I have to come all the way down here to two classrooms that are in here. We probably spend more time in our classroom than we do at our homes. And so sometimes that feels like a very personal, private space. And when you have to share it with someone else who maybe doesn't view it that way, there might be kind of an, an issue of boundaries and things like that. It is a big challenge. I mean, one, you know, there's several factors. One, the teachers cannot have some uh, uh, pictures, maps, or any kind of those uh, items or particular things aids for teaching. Uh, the number two is like, you know, it takes time to set up and takes time to take it down. So on average, our students, uh, our teachers can lose as much as 10 minutes of instructional time per period. The so-called traveling teachers aren't limited to Capitol Hill High School. There are more than two dozen at U.S. Grant. To elevate the problem, the Oklahoma City School District Board is considering relocating hundreds of students to schools on the north side of the metro. If it frees up classrooms, then we would be able to, like the traveling teachers could do more. We can do word walls, we can do data walls, we can have our daily objective on there where we don't have to rewrite it or have it typed 500 times. Um, everything's ready to go, so when the students come in, you have five minutes to get the next class set up instead of a minute to 30 seconds. Just having a classroom, it's like, it's like your home base. 